Okay, I feel like everybody has a Woody Allen story. So what was the story for you? Uh, I met Woody Allen for Bullets Over Broadway and Shadows and Fog like 20 years ago. Wow. And, um, you know, I've done tons of independent movies in the 90s, and I get asked to be on juries at different festivals. And I, I met the, the program directors at the Krakow Film Festival, and they had been asking me for years to come. And I went, and I was on the jury with Juliette Taylor, and um, the casting director, the for casting director for Woody Allen, and they have a very close relationship. And uh, she, you know, feels out what actors are right for his movies, and she is very selective in what she shows him because he doesn't really like to meet actors. <laughs> So um, I got back from Krakow, and Juliet got to know me a little more and at this time in my life. And uh, we all lost our bags on Monday, and I got called <laughs> on Wednesday to meet uh, Woody on Thursday at noon, and on Friday uh, I got cast. Oh. <clears throat> the meeting was three and a half minutes. Wow, and, an eternity. Uh, so you get 20 pages. Well, not, no, not everyone gets 20 pages. <laughs> Emma and Joaquin got the entire script, and I got 20 pages. And uh, on the page, it's really funny, you know? Like, I was shopping at the liquor store, thought I'd come in and got a bottle for me and my husband, and, and um, <laughs> I show up on set, and it's not that tone at all. I mean, it's much darker. And uh, so that was... That was an amazing, uh, to, to have no conversation, mm. but to come with, with everything, you know, and then to be shown that it's a whole other body of water. And uh, so I was kept in the dark, and it was, uh, it was a great uh, working experience. It was really creative. Is there any rehearsal at all, or would that knock out that quality if you that's right it. there's no there's no rehearsal which is great wow. um <clears throat> you know the christopher guest movies there's no rehearsal and no talking with what you're doing and uh with the other actors either it's not like oh i have something funny let's work this out and be funny with it you're really creating something live on camera and he uh that's how woody works too but he'll say he'll come in and what are, what, what are we doing today? Um, oh, right, right. Could go over to you and say, what I wrote isn't very good. If you want to add something, anything you like to say and add to the scene to make it better than what I wrote, and you can do that. And, and, and it's just this kind of effortless, like, loose thing. We're going to we want to do this in one take. You know, it's like, that's, that's the vibe. That's the vibe, and it's very jazz. How many right? takes do you get? Um, one. Seriously? Yeah. You get one take. And so um, he comes over and he says, mm, that was, you know, good. Or sometimes it's not, you know, and you're like, ah. Um, that was good. It was the right temperature. But we have to go again for sound. And then you're like, okay. <laughs> So you have to uh, really take it, take the bull by the horns, and really and really jump in. Were you wanting directorial notes from him? I'm really not like that. Um, I when I went to uh, drama school at SUNY Purchase, actors didn't want to rehearse with me because I'd be like, "You're killing it. <laughs> You're going to kill the scene if you keep, you know, if you rehearse it." Um, so I like to, uh, uh, I like paying attention to the other actor in front of me and just being in the moment and being loose. And, um, yeah, I, d I, don't, uh, I don't like a lot of... Um, yeah, I'm usually left alone. I, but that's just the, the way independent movies are, too. Like, you've done your work, so there's not a lot of uh, talking, you know. But he would come in and just say, just a little more... That was good, but a little irony on this line, just a little bit. Just so. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's so subtle. One thing I didn't know, just as I was researching a little bit more about uh, Woody's films, is that apparently a good number of them, as do a lot of films, 
require additional photography after the principal shoot. Did you guys have to go back and do anything? <clears throat> yes. Uh, the first day I worked, I did 20 takes of the bar scene. And I, he I heard that a, a lot of the time, the first day is, is, is reshot. Um, the bar scene where you're presenting your My theory, theory yeah. And uh, that was exciting to have them really, you know, work with me. I was, it was terrifying. I was screaming and laughing and forgetting my lines. So what happened with that scene? It was cool. They just, uh, you know, I played it a bunch of different ways. And... Uh, it, there was something that you know, I, we didn't have to reshoot it, but they, uh, but he got whatever he needed to get out of me. He got out of me in the in that in his direction, but there was a few scenes that they uh, that day that they did reshoot, um, and of course there's the you know the fear that you're going to be cut entirely because of that movie that he did, where he recast, yeah. I, so that can happen, and that's he can he can do that. It's his story, you know. As an actor in his movie, you're very much in his story, like immediately at the camera test. I'm like, "Hi, what's your name?" But really, he wanted like he wanted me to be Rita, mm. and uh, Susie Benzinger, the the wardrobe designer, told me that you know, make sure you just go in there and and you are the character, and and then the same in you know we we block just a little bit, rehearse just a little bit. So yeah, we do rehearse, but it's not like talked about. It's, and it's a lot of this, like we have five minutes to do this, you know? Um, it's very jazz. It has a, a really improvisational vibe. Are you sad that it didn't happen, that you didn't get to work with him 20 years ago, or are you happy that it happened now? Oh, I'm so happy that it happened now. Why? Um, because I've experienced so much. And... Uh, you know, his movies to me were about adults feeling feelings and they're, and being able to, having an, an intelligence about them and an awareness that is like classic. Uh, it's like Chekhov or Strindberg or like it's very deep and I don't feel like uh, I could have embodied that at a, at a younger age. Well, you did a great job in this, thank Parker. You. I'm really glad you finally got to work with Woody Allen. Me too. Thank and you. And thank you all for hanging thank around you. with us.